Hello, people. How y'all doing at this moment in time? Just came on here and talked to y'all for a little moment. And uh, But before we get off into that, let's get off into a prayer. Come on, come on. Let's get off into a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning, blessing us to see a new day. Want your words to guide us, guard us, protect us throughout this day. And lead us throughout this day and show us the way. And I pray, Father God, you come to me at this moment in time in order to get a people out of the truth. And I pray, Father God, you let the Holy Spirit come to me at this moment in time in order to get a people out of the truth. And I thank for this in my prayer, Father God. Amen. <coughs> now. <coughs> a moment. What I want to speak to y'all about uh, <clears throat> is these diabolical cycles that this uh, enemy and uh, these wicked ones put people in. <clears throat> and our beacon are beginning to bind it up and cast it down. They put people in cycles. This is why they call them about, this is when they speak about, oh, breaking curses, generational curses. That's because they put in spell work on people to put cycles on them. And it is to keep you in this, going looping and looping around this matrix, right? And our big and bind that up and cast it down. See, they think they're going to keep on doing this. This is over with. The Lord has spoken. You got to give up now because all your sight has been broke. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. All these cycles have been broken. Especially in this matrix, that's why it's, that's why these things are happening. <laughs> you understand? Because the people have come to, <laughs> and they see these things happening. Now, they see these things happening. What these these enemies are doing? The truth is out, and they're trying to hide it. This is why they do these distractions. I'm going to tell you about something about uh, these other ones. I'm trying to get this one. Be... Uh, <clears throat> so you understand what's going on. And that you know what's happening. Hold on one second, I'm messing with this paper, trying to figure these things out. I don't have to do this no more. So, the people are, are catching on to it. Like with this, I'm going to give you an example. This virus thing, right? And y'all keep wondering, how is it still happening? And they... Uh, people, how's this virus? And they talking about, oh, COVID this and COVID that. And then, all right, after a few months that went past and a few, year, uh, few weeks and things and a few months that went past, nobody said nothing about a mask. Nobody said nothing about a COVID. Nobody said nothing about a nothing. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they, they bring out, oh, it's a plague of COVID just hit again. This is a diabolical cycle <laughs> that they keep trying to play this called hamster wheel around and keep the people in the hamster wheel. And I rebuke it and I bind it up and I cast it down continually. And I rebuke it and I bind it up and I cast it down. These are your government officials. And they put it out there because they want you to be an F-E-A-R so they can try and be in control. See, they control by F-E-A-R. They want you to be afraid. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a mental thing. 
and it's just some little demons and things that they send out <clears throat> and spell work they do. That's all. That's all. Listen to me. These cycles and things have been broken. These things have been destroyed. The Father has spoken the word. He's told these people to let his people go. You understand? And when he's told these people to let these people go, right, you know, when he's told these people to let these people go, they um they still wanted to do the same old nonsense over and over again, and thinking that they're gonna get away with it because they trying to, they trying to, they always trying to fabricate a lie. They always trying to um, cover up something to keep something else from coming out or cover a person to keep their name or whatever they do under the cover from coming out. Okay? Because these ones have been exposed to all their uh, wickedness and all their agendas and everything that they're doing. So now that they've been exposed, all their lives are being uh, 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 handed out to the public and seen for what it is. Now they fin that now they've been trying to start wars and things like this here. Look at them projecting them. <laughs> now they trying to start wars and things and like that. <clears throat> they don't want them talking but I'm gonna talk about it. They now they've been trying to start wars and things like this here. This uh this enemy she's she's a very that is an alien there. Yeah. That crossed the water, the uh Pelosi, there's an alien. She's a witch as well. These people, I want y'all to know, these people do witchcraft on people. You understand? They do witchcraft and they pay people to do witchcraft on them. This is what they do by sacrificing people and doing all these nonsense and things like this. Do you know what's going on? This is because of our birthrights. This is because of the land and all the things that they owe us that God is giving us. Yeah. This is why they're trying to start these little distractions and these wars. See, what y'all don't know is, she, they trying to start a war because they know they owe. So what they're trying to do is keep the people distracted with the war. Like I told y'all, I told y'all about this last time. They trying to keep the people distracted with the war. So they can try to steal the people's birthrights and, and the money and things like this in the land and try to keep control of it. No. No, and I pray and I prophesy, I declare, decree, I command everything that they trying to do. It shall fail, fall to the dirt, it shall not form, it shall not prosper. And everything that they trying to do to distract and everything they trying to do to steal, that it shall backfire on them and be sent back to them five hundred million fold, ten hundred. 10 times 10, triple what they trying to do over the people and over their blessings and over their promises and over their favor of their lives all over the whole entire planet. I command and I demand it in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. <clears throat> you got to understand. This is what they trying to do. They do this all the time. This is like the second, third time they did it. They started the war. So behind the scenes, while y'all paying attention to the wars and things that's going on, they behind the scenes trying to steal birthrights and land and money. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, sure is. Yep. See, that's why I tell... This is why I'm trying to tell the, the leaders and the, and, the, and the pastors, the real pastors and the leaders in the... In the, in the um, uh, um, the real people, the real light workers and healers that work for God is that stop seeing things physical. Start looking at things spiritual. These are spiritual warfares. These are spiritual warfare. Think everything happens in the spirit first before it comes here in this realm. Remember that. So what you can't see in the physical, it is what's happening in the spiritual. What you can't see is what you're looking at is Oh, it's, been, it's wars. And they, they trying to start a war and things like that. But what you don't see is behind the scene what they really trying to do is stop people from getting their birthrights. It's stop and, 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 uh, getting away of people's birthrights, land, and, and what, what these enemies owe them. 
the uh, material possessions, all these things, their businesses and houses and land all over the planet. See, this is what these spiritual wars are about. Not just war is about, y'all think it's just, oh, war this and oh, it's over about that. No, this war is about land. It's always about land. This is what y'all don't know. It's always about your birthrights. It's always about your land. It's always about your money. It's always about your material possession that they owe you. They owe more than them 40 acres in the mule now. They owe everybody double and some triple. Hmm. Stop paying attention to the physical and look in the spiritual. You go ask God. You understand what is going on and what is happening around you. This is why these spiritual warfares are going on. This is why she's trying to throw off and make a war because she's trying. they're trying to steal the birthrights because they can't steal it. They've been defeated every single time and we're going to keep on defeating them and we're going to keep on coming to their doorstep until they pay. God said, give it up. God said, cut his people free. You're going to cut his people free and you're going to give them what you owe them. And I commanded... As the chief and commander, I commanded and demanded.